What is service design? I've been thinking about this for a while, and I recently discovered a brilliant quote by Mark Futine that I think sums it up perfectly. When you have two coffee shops right next to each other, each selling the exact same coffee for the exact same price, service design is the reason you go into one coffee shop and not the other. So let's play that out in a little scenario. Coffee shop A decide they want a mobile app. So they put a team full of people together to work on it for a couple of months before delivering it to their customers. The customers download the app only to find it's got nothing that they need. Now let's look at coffee shop B. Coffee shop B put the customer at the heart of the experience. They talk to them. They do some immersive research and really get to know what the customer's doing before, during and after their coffee. They can map this out on a customer journey where they identify the highs and lows of the experience and uncover some service opportunities and can start to explore solutions. The team then start to speak to other people from around the business. They speak to the colleagues in store and understand what their day looks like. They speak to the founder to look back at the original vision for the coffee shop, as well as the marketing team and the suppliers too. Once they have all of these people together, they can run a workshop or a series of workshops where they can identify the real business objective and exactly what they want to achieve. They can start to design some concepts and test them with the customers they now have a relationship with. They can do a tech analysis and plot everything on a blueprint that documents all of the support systems necessary to bring these concepts to life. With all this, they can create their North Star vision, all resulting in a mobile app full of features the customers love. But it doesn't stop there. They've also identified the colleagues need a tablet application to help them deal with the extra flow of traffic in store and the payment system needs updating so all three can work in harmony. They might design a colleague training and engagement program and redesign their store to optimise the physical experience too, whilst also looking at how they talk about themselves socially, possibly even introducing some new product lines. These are what we call the front stage experiences. But in order for it to all come together, we must look at the backstage too. Here you will find the backend systems that drive all the digital propositions, key metrics that we measure ourselves by, learn from and iterate upon the services, as well as a CRM system and some delivery partners. So, service design is about three things. One, customer centric. It's about putting the customer at the heart of everything you do and only then will you create services people love. Two, co-creation. It's about exploring and designing these concepts together. And as a result, you will ensure services are both technically feasible and business viable. Three, holistic. It's about building interdependent, interrelated experiences that all connect with people on an emotional level. That way, you will create services that scale beyond the original idea. To round it all off, let's revisit Mark's quote. Service design is not just what makes you walk into one coffee shop and not the other, it's the reason you keep coming back and tell all your friends about it.